All right, YouTube. I'm back in here again. Another trading stock video and what is going on in the stock world right now. If you guys are finding me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to check out my link in the video description for Robin Hood. Get yourself a free stock. Follow me on the gram. I had to get a quick video in for you guys because if you haven't noticed, most of the brokerage houses are freezing you out of capitalism. And we'll explain why they're fucking you over in wearing that fuck me, screw me dress so that you guys can't make any money. But the next big stock that I just read on Reddit that they're going to be trying to boast up since everybody's being frozen out of GameStop, BB, AMC, Nokia, they're freezing you out of that. So what is next? Let me show you an excerpt that I read on Reddit. And maybe you guys can get in quickly before they try to shut you out of this one. So here we go. Right here, you see what to buy. I will be putting 50% directly into SLV shares and 50% into the $35 strike calls expiring on 416. This way, SLV purchase creates a groundswell into silver immediately that then rockets through a gamma squeeze as SLV approaches $35. Price target of 75 for SLV by the end of April if we pull this off, okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, right there, they're telling you fresh out of Reddit that what you need to jump on to try to get a quick game is SLV shares. And let me jump in my Robinhood account to show you guys what it looked like. I got some this morning. I'll show you my proof. And so when you're looking at these stocks, ladies and gentlemen, so far right now, it hasn't moved a whole lot. But as you can see, I went on ahead and I got 50 shares and I'm losing two bucks right now as we speak. But to know if people are really messing around with the stock, you just come in here, click on the volatility. You see that implied volatility? Oops, hold on. I forgot. Let me share my screen. And here we go. Okay, I'm back in it. So here's the implied volatility. You see that 114? That means that there are a lot of people getting in and out of the stock. When I looked at this last night, when I first read the Reddit post, it was only 24. That's what the volatility was. It was 24. And so now it's pretty high. And I did, ladies and gentlemen, buy some. So you can see I bought 50 shares. I'm losing four bucks right now. And I also did buy that call that they mentioned. And so now let me get back on my horse and my frustration with these brokerages and try to explain to you guys why these brokerages are jumping out. First and foremost, ladies and gentlemen, be sure to share this video because we want as many people to buy this damn stock as possible so that some of us can make the money and hold it if you want to. iShares is not a bad stock to hold if you want to hold it. Um, silver, you can't go wrong with silver. It's a hedge against inflation just like gold is. They tend to mirror each other's price. But more importantly, ladies and gentlemen, it is frustrating to me that they these brokerages are freezing you out of these stocks because they're basically freezing you out of capitalism. And why are they doing that? Simply because margin trading, just about all of them do margin trading. And what is margin trading? To keep it in layman's terms, basically think about extending someone a line of credit and they get that line of credit for X amount of days. And of course, you're supposed to pay back that line of credit. But if one of these stocks blows the hell up the way a the way GameStop did and never comes back down, I mean, it comes back down. Someone is left holding the bag if people did a whole lot of margin trading, a lot, a lot of margin options. And so that person is probably going to be left held, holding the bag is most likely these brokerages. And so to not mess people up with capitalism who want to get in and get out and make that profit, all these companies should do is just completely shut off margin margin account um, plays. You can't do any margins on certain stocks. That way, people can still get in, take that risk on capitalism. This bothers me that they're doing this. Um, and if that's the way you're losing your money, then just get rid of the margin on certain stocks. I can better tolerate that than you guys just you get on AMC. You can't even find it on Robinhood. You get on Robinhood, you can't even find GameStop. It is frustrating as hell. I tried to put a put in yesterday that would be making me lots of money right now, and they didn't let me do it. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I would suggest share this video with your friends. I just showed you the proof from Reddit itself. I am actually, I, I'm, I'm a little guy. I'm for the little guy. I'm for the retail investor 
because it's silly to me that the hedge funds have every single advantage that the retail investor doesn't have. They can trade 24 seven a night. They get in on the early IPOs. They get this cheap rate that we don't usually get. Trade on the weekends, you know, day trade. I mean, early pre-market trade. You get to do all this bull job. Then you get all this insider um, information and all this stuff. And then by the time it gets to the retail investors, you've got to be super diligent. And Wall Street's bets has been hedging the bets against hedge funds. And I was reading their posts and it was a lot of people whose lives have been changed by what they're doing in Wall Street bets. And then I go and look on CNBC and some of the uh, major news publications where I hear all these old school cats. They really hate what's happening right now that retailers are taking advantage, but they didn't have a problem when the hedge funds was doing it. And now they're all screaming, we need regulation. What's going to happen? We might get regulation. Well, you know, Main Street has been screaming regulation for the longest time. And so when you see these things happening, ladies and gentlemen, you just got to be aware. You've got to be abreast. You've got to stay on top of these things as they come out. And I am going to keep bringing you this information. Um, there was people in the Reddit group whose lives have been changed. One guy was able to pay his medical bills. One guy was about to lose his house. One guy's wife was sick. And so as long as people are able to make money and you know that there's a risk involved in investing, that's why some people say investing is betting. It's just that it's educated betting. You can buy real estate tomorrow and then something happens and you lose your whole investment. No different. You can go to Las Vegas Sands and put all the money you want to on a slot machine because some hot woman keep bringing you drinks and you done lost your sensorium. Don't nobody stop you from blowing up all your money in there. Why stop it now? Let people know that there are risks and stop the margins. Stop letting people do it on margin so that folks that want to get in the marketplace can do it. Again, ladies and gentlemen, the stock that you guys need to go ahead and try to jump on, SLV, iShares, and this is what they said in Reddit. I'll post it up here real quick and I'll talk over it so that you guys can kind of read what they're saying and just know that there are risks associated with it if you want to get in. But this is the next one that they're going to do since they're going to basically they basically stop people from jumping on the GameStop. So let me know what you guys are doing in the stock market. Be sure to share this video with as many people as you can. Maybe we can ride this stock all the way to the top, make some more profit. And then we'll just have to keep trying to read to figure out what's the next big stock run up so that we can all take advantage. And I guess stick it to the man is the way you say it. Or better yet, I like to say. Help some people make those life gains. Now, let me take a few questions and comments real quick. Then we're going to get out of here. So everybody is responding to what's going on. Um, they're talking about how on every brokerage, they've gotten rid of BlackBerry. They've gotten rid of GameStop. Um, it, it's, yo, it's, it's crazy out here. And shouts out to my man, Mr. Universal, for sending me that outstanding super chat. Um, he said, thanks for the stock help. I invested in GE. And if you guys missed the video I did at the very beginning of the year, go in my playlist that says Robin Hood 2021. I gave you a list of stocks that I think would be the best for you to invest in for the year 2021 based on the fundamentals, based on long term holding. Uh, my brother, AJ Rich, he's out here um, letting me know that we're sharing good information. And um, that's about it for right now, ladies and gentlemen. Be sure to share this video with those you know who are into investing in stocks. Maybe you guys can get in front of this thing. Why I share silver is at a pretty low rate. It's about 24 bucks right now. And we'll just ride this high to see how long it goes. And that's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe, get yourself that life game. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on my life game Facebook page. And if you don't have Robin Hood yet, Go ahead, get Robinhood app. My link is in the description so you get a free stock. And believe it or not, folks, Robinhood last year was giving out GameStop as a free stock for around three bucks. I guarantee you they ain't giving it out right now. And until that next sexy as hell video, I'll see you.